So to get started, just click the little blue button that says start using the plus one button. And this will take you to a, just a simple form, very similar to the badge that we uh, created earlier. Uh, there are various forms of this plus one button, and this plus one button is something that you're going to want to put on every page you can on your site that has a, u a unique URL. And what it will do is it will allow users of your site to go and plus one that unique URL on your site, which, as I covered before, will increase the uh, search rank, uh, engine rankings uh, and increase uh, where your site uh, uh, ranks within Google, uh, as well as uh, when... Uh, when a person's friends have plus one, that their friends will be be there in the experience with them. Uh, uh, so it's important to have that uh, on your site to encourage your users to be uh, plus oneing it, uh, and that way their friends will uh, will uh, be able to participate in that experience as well. So there are various sizes. We have small here, uh, looks like that. Standard, looks like that. Uh, mediums a little bigger, looks like that. And tall. Um, not a whole lot of difference, but uh, um, we're just going to go with standard here. Um, there are various formats. The bubble format is a popular one here, which just has a little bubble with a number of plus ones. Uh, uh, inline includes the faces. Um, uh, or maybe you just want a simple plus one button without uh, a bubble or anything. Uh, the, just like none for that. Uh, we're going to do the bubble for this one. Um, and uh, uh, and then uh, select your language if you want. There are all kinds of languages. Uh, I speak English, so I'm going to choose English. You might want to review the advanced options. Uh, if you understand what these are, they, this is something you're going to want to pay attention to. Uh, uh, leave asynchronous checked uh, that uh, allows uh, your website to load. If Google is ever down or has any problems, your website can still load if that asynchronous is turned on, uh, basically. Um, if if you're familiar with HTML5, you can have it marked in HTML5 valid syntax, so it's it uh, doesn't break any uh, validators or anything like that. Uh, there's a callback function for the developers out there. If you want uh, a callback function to be called when uh, people click the plus one button and to have your website do interesting things when that plus one button is pressed, uh, you can uh, uh, specify a JavaScript callback function to call uh, on your site. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also, if you want to customize the URL to plus one, uh, uh, and it's not the current URL, it defaults to the current URL that the plus one button is on, uh, but you can specify an entirely different URL if you want as well. Uh, and if you want to go in, uh, specifically developers, uh, you're going to be interested. If you click on the More Information uh, link here, this More Information link will, will give you all kinds of other variables and information, and, and, and it will tell you all the details of, of what the different uh, components of this code is. Uh, and I've really covered way more than you need to know here. Uh, really, once you fill this out, select the look and feel you want. Um, they basically give you the code that you need all right here. Um, we've already filled out the form. Uh, so all we need to do is, if you just read what it says here, place this tag where you want the plus one button to render. This is, uh, this is where your code is going to go. Uh, and then the script uh, information here, you can put that wherever you want on your site. I'm just going to copy the whole chunk here. Uh, and if you copy it, and then what I've done is I'm just using Notepad uh, and, and Dropbox to, to save my stuff. That's the simplest uh, way to show you. Uh, you can uh, use your own editor and uh, upload to your own uh, website if, in whatever way you, you choose. Uh, but here in Notepad, I've got my own uh, website that says hello world here. Uh, I'm going to copy the information here that I just uh, put there. And let me uh, format this just a little bit here. At a minimum, and you can really leave the rest how it is. Uh, if you need to make it a little more readable, you can um, you can edit that to make it uh, look a little better. But uh, here, this right here is where the uh, plus one button is going to go. So if I just add some simple te text, click here and plus one us on Google Plus. Um, and actually, I'm going to re replace us with this page because we're actually not plus wanting a, a uh, Google Plus brand page or anything. This is just plus wanting the URL um, on uh, Google Plus. So, um, so now if I uh, paste in my public link for Dropbox, hit enter, 
You'll see there's my new text, and there is our plus one button. And I can click plus one. Uh, now if I go back to uh, my Google Plus profile, go to my profile here, and go to the plus ones tab here, you'll see right here my Google Plus test site was just, uh, was just plus one, and that appears there. Uh, and that's really the only place they see it. it doesn't appear in my stream or anything. Uh, but the advantage is if I do a search for uh, uh, my Google Plus test site, uh, if my friends search for it, uh, it should show me as having liked it. So that's basically uh, how you add a plus one button to your site. And you can put that into anywhere on your site. I recommend doing it on every, every page you can. Uh, uh, put it into the template of your site if you can, and that way it, it appears on every single page.